Class 1 Cavity Preparation for Amalgam Restorations This is a lower first molar. It has a pronounced central groove with many fossae. Usually, tooth decay happens at the depth of the fossae and the groove connecting them. Now we're going to prepare a class 1 for this tooth. First, establishing depth of the cavity. This is done by the use of a round burr, one millimeter in diameter. The burr is put perpendicular to the occlusal plane at the depth of the fossae. The depth of the cavity should be 1.5 mm to 2 mm. After cutting, we could check the cavity depth by placing the burr in the cavity. We should see that the burr sinks into the cavity. We could also place other holes at the mesial and distal fossae to establish a uniform depth. And now we check the depth of all three holes. Now we have to remove the tooth structure between the holes. Step 2. Outline of the cavity. By the use of a fissure burr, we make the outline of the cavity. The burr is held also perpendicular to the occlusal plane inside one of the holes and then we move it along the fissure to the other hole. Notice that the fissure burr should be placed on the floor of the, de the depth of the hole to make a uniform depth of 1.5 sorry 1.5 to 2 millimeter for all the cavity No tilting is done during this phase of cutting. The burr should be upright or perpendicular to the occlusal plane. This is the initial outline of the cavity.
as you could see here we have to make the shape of the cavity rounded without any sharp corners Under the cusps, there should be convergence to establish the retention form. Here, the burr is perpendicular. The walls, the buccal and lingual walls are perpendicular to the occlusal plane. They should be converged occlusally about 5 degrees. This is done by tilting the fissure burr and cutting under the cusps. both the buccal and the lingual cusps. Also care must be taken not to deepen the pulpal floor. This is the cavity after we complete the outline form and the retention form. The width of the cavity buccolingually is about a fourth of the distance from the buccal to the lingual cusps. The wall, buccal and lingual under the cusps must be converged occlusally. While the mesial and distal wall at the marginal ridges should be perpendicular or slightly diverged. This is to show the convenience form. When we bring a condenser, the smallest size condenser should just fit inside the cavity.